What is integrity? You know those ubiquitous vending machines for soda or snacks to the office? Well, has it ever happened to where it, and this of course very rarely, actually dispenses extra change for, well, a change? Yes. And did you think you were having such a lucky day? What did you do with the extra change? Did you pocket it and thought, well, it wasn't my fault the machine decided to be extra generous today? You probably reasoned with yourself saying, it's a small change, no big deal. Besides, this machine has stolen a lot of your money when it wouldn't dispense any change at all. And that was a lot of times. And maybe you're right, it is indeed just small change. It was also not your fault. And certainly, it has wronged you multiple times in the past. But is that the right thing to do? Do you think that these reasons warrant you to pocket the extra change? Of course not. And doing the right thing in this case is called integrity. C.S. Lewis, the author of the Chronicles of Narnia books, once said, Integrity is doing the right thing even when no one is watching. So, let's go back to the vending machine story. Instead of pocketing the extra change, if you have integrity, you'll turn in the extra change to whomever is in charge of that vending machine. All human beings have a moral compass. We know what's right and what's wrong, even without anyone telling us. One of the core values of BPO companies is integrity. Call center employees know this too well. But how do we make sure that we uphold integrity in the workplace? What is our role in making sure that we maintain integrity in the office? Here are a few tips to assure integrity in the workplace. Work when you're supposed to. Do your job and do it well. Avoid socializing, taking extra breaks than the usual, and surfing the internet during work time. Stick to your schedule, even when your manager is not around. Follow the rules. The company guidelines and regulations are there for a reason. They're there for your protection, so make sure that you follow them to the T. If you see someone violating these rules, remind them of the policies and guidelines. Don't use company resources or materials for personal use. You know those bond papers and color inks, the printer, and the computer apps you designed your happy birthday cards to your relatives? That goes against integrity. Give credit where credit is due. Don't accept praise for someone else's work. Don't blame credit for someone's good job. If you ever find yourself in a situation where there's potential conflict of interest, get out of it immediately. If you're managing a team, do what you say you will do. Keep your promises, stand by your words, practice what you preach. Keep your employees informed, be transparent, be the bearer of good news and bad news. Don't sugarcoat, be direct. Last but not the least, report violations when you can. Hold people accountable for their actions. Do not tolerate fraud, harassment, or any inappropriate behavior. Integrity is such a big word and involves hard work, but it must be done. And always remember what Oprah Winfrey said about integrity. Real integrity is doing the right thing, knowing that nobody is going to know whether you did it or not.